hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Eno so in today's video I'll be doing a quick um, introduction to escape characters in Python an escape character makes it possible for us to specify specific characters within a string that would otherwise not be allowed. For instance, if you have a string that's enclosed in a single quote and you're looking to have a, a quote, a single quote within that string, you'll need to escape that using a, a backslash. So the backslash is going to be placed right before that. A quote that you're looking to escape. The best way is to uh, demonstrate using an example. So for instance, let's say I have a string, let's call it my string. This is say Joe's car. So as you can see, the, the whole string is enclosed within single quotes. And within my string here, I have a word that has um, a single quote. So this is, is not going to work because this the Python interpreter is going to think that the string ends here, while in real sense, the string is actually ending here. And if you try to run this code, it should, it's going to generate an error message. So let's say, for instance, if you run it, you get an invalid syntax here because of here, that, that single quote. So in order to avoid this, you need to escape it using a backslash. So if I put a backslash there and run it, now I don't have an error message. Another time you, you might want to use this uh, escape character is if you're, you're looking to, uh, to introduce a, a tab or a new line, or if you're, you're looking to escape a backslash within your, your uh, a string. For instance, if let's say you have a, a string that you want to span multiple lines, what you can do is you can use the um, backslash and then an N. And then if you need to introduce a tab, you can use backslash and a T. Let's just make a few modifications here. We can add, let's say, a new line here. So backslash N is going to introduce a new line. And let's say we want to introduce a tab. Actually, let's just print this first without those to show what it looks like. So this is just one line. Uh, we'll go ahead and introduce the new line to show what that is going to look like. And as you can see here, introduced a new line. OK, well, the next thing we want to do is introduce a tab. And then we'll see what happens. So we we'll have a new line and a tab. As you can see, you just introduced a tab. Uh, then the other example would be if you have say in your in your code you are you're pointing to like a a path like a file and and you're trying to add that in your code you might find that you need to use the backslash so for instance if you're saying say my path and you want to point to a location of a file let's say it's in the the C drive users uh, say you know and then let's say uh, download see what this prints this is gonna generate an error so in order for you to actually uh, represent that path you'll need double backslashes so that you can escape uh, the, the backslash the actual backslash you're looking to represent. And as you can see here, we are getting, it's returning a, a path to a, a folder. Uh, an, an easier way to, to represent, like if you have so many backslashes in your code and you're looking to represent them, uh, an easier way to do is it's to use the R for the uh, row string. So you can just do R and that way you don't have to do backslashes. And that should give you the same result. That's all for this video. I hope this information has been useful. Thank you all for viewing. Bye.